Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. So glad to have you with me again today and always grateful for you taking the time to study the Word of God. It is my desire as well as the Lord's that we learn His Word and that we're learning it together and just enjoying so much about Jesus Christ in this book of the Gospel of John. We love to go to the Lord in prayer as we begin our study, so if you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word again, and we thank you that you've given us the opportunity to know you and uh, your son Jesus, as well as your ways through your word. And so we ask you, bless our time together today, Lord. Lead us and guide us by your Holy Spirit, we pray, and help us to live according to the ways that you show us today. And we'll give you praise and thanks for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Leaving Her Water Pot. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 4, and verse 28. John the Apostle wrote how Jesus met a Samaritan woman at a well located near the Samaritan city named Sychar. As they conversed, the woman said unto him, I know that Messiah comes, which is called Christ. When he has come, he will tell us all things. Jesus said unto her, I that speak unto you am he. And upon this came his disciples, and marveled that he talked with the woman. Yet no man said, What do you seek? Or, Why are you talking with her? And in chapter 4 and verse 28 of his book, John shared how the Samaritan woman left her water pot and went her way into the city, where we read, The woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city, and said to the men. The verse reads, the woman then left her water pot. John began with the words, the woman, or the female human being from Samaria, then left her water pot, which means at that time departed from her receptacle for holding water or her water jar. John shared how the Samaritan woman left her water jar behind after she knew Jesus was the Christ. The verse goes on to say, and went her way into the city and said to the men. John continued with the words, and went her way, which means, and separated and departed from Jesus into the city or into the dwelling place, habitation, abode of Sychar, and said unto the men, which means, and uttered, declared, and proclaimed to the male human beings within the city the following words. John shared how the Samaritan woman left Jesus to go back to the city and began to exclaim to the men who were there, what is told in our next verse. When we consider John's words in this verse, we learn that the Samaritan woman responded to Jesus' proclamation of being the Christ by leaving behind her vessel for capturing water and went to tell about him. The men in the city were the first people she told. And perhaps because the other women in the city were either shunning her, hidden away, wanted nothing to do with her, or some other reason, she told who she could about the Messiah, Jesus she just met. Jesus gave this woman living water and became the priority of her life. People who put their faith and trust in Jesus as their personal Savior and Lord have their sins forgiven, receive peace with God, and find satisfaction that can be discovered in no other relationship. This makes them desire to tell others what they have found. And like the Samaritan woman, they will bear witness of him to whoever will listen to them share. Next time, John shares how the woman, Samaritan woman says, Come, see a man which told me all things that ever I did. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.